so today we are going to be doing something again i think it's a little bit experimental there's a little glitch in the effect and you will see what i mean i think it's still super useful and usable also this feature is not intended to be used on mobile devices so if you want something like this for mobile forget it this is not going to work in a million years unless you want to squish everything in two columns so let's get into it all right so we are going to start with adding a container at the top this container could be anything it's your content basically it could be the hero section for example so i am just going to add a simple empty container uh, for the purpose of having some scroll because without having scroll on the page this is not going to work so this is not a feature for the hero section or somewhere uh, where there's no space to scroll either at the bottom so keep that in mind you need scrolling space top and bottom basically that's what i want to say all right so i gave this uh, actually it doesn't even matter i'm just going to give a vh50 this should be enough i'm gonna publish and i am also going to uh, duplicate this and i am going to remove the height you can give some height if you want uh, let we could say 100 pH. all right okay and let's go to advance and i'm gonna set the css class already on this container and this is going to be the gallery so this is going to be holding our two columns uh, the left and the right column obviously so our right column is going to be the one that is spinning the one with the images so this is going to show the images changing on scroll as the text goes further up and disappears so i'm going to publish this as well and i am going to add the first column and the column is going to be of course a container i am going to set this to full width and also i am going to set this to be uh, with uh, 50 percent and i'm going to set the the class the css class to be left all right so in this container we are going to have our containers uh, child containers that will contain <laughs> our heading and our text individually and independently <laughs> all right so I am going to add a container in here and this container is going to be full width and I am going to give this a class as well of desktop content section as you can see. All right. And in this container, I am going to add my uh, heading and my text and then I am going to duplicate the child container so we don't have to do too much work this is not really that important uh, but the structure is so that's what it matters so i'm just going to paste copy paste uh, my uh, text that i have from the example and then i'm going to duplicate this and paste it in here and of course our layout is going to be column vertical and i can and i will set my heading to be alignment uh, aligned and uh, left all right i'm going to publish this and what i will do is i'm going to duplicate this duplicate and duplicate of course you can set this to be a uh, column vertical as well and as you can see we have the text rolling so I'm just going to change this. So uh, once we scroll, we start scrolling, you see the difference. So this is going to be strip. All right. So the left column is set. I think what I will do is let me just close this to see how. All right. So this is the structure. This is the left column. I am going to simply duplicate this and I will simply delete everything that is inside here. I mean almost everything i will just only leave one container and i will name this parent container the parent container that is holding the child container <laughs> i will name this right because it's the right column and then the child container is going to be um named 
desktop photos and this is going to hold all our photos okay so uh, i'm going to add an image here so i will duplicate this image actually you know what first of all let me give it a class and this class is going to be applied to all the photos that we have in here so that's why i didn't want to duplicate it before that now i can do that oh uh, not delete duplicate and duplicate and i will just uh, simply change change the image images and, all right so now we are ready to add our code so let me just close this so i'm gonna add or drag an html widget in here and i'm going to bring in my code all right so this is our code all right so as you can see the trigger is the gallery so the trigger is the parent container and uh, this is the parent containers basically the one that is holding both our columns all right that you can name whatever you want as always remember to change it in here and our animation starts at the top but 20 percent we want some space uh, and i will explain to you once that animation um, takes place uh 20 percent from the top right and then it ends at the bottom and uh the pin is the column that is on the right and we already have it uh named right so this is the class again if you are going to name that class differently make sure that you change it here otherwise it's not going to work okay i'm going to publish but we need to add some css because right now this is not going to work so let's just have a quick look okay all right so we can see the markers the animation starts here the image is spinning, the second image is pinned, but you don't see them kind of stacking. So let's go back to our um, left column and go all the way to advanced. And I'm going to drop some CSS in here. So without this CSS, the images are not going to work as they should. So this is the container that is holding our images. Yeah, um, let me go back to the CSS. So this container, uh, you can change the, the sizes uh, from uh, the actual container layout settings. So you can delete, you can simply delete that part of the CSS. I was just playing around, but you need to leave the position relative uh, right here in the custom CSS. You can even uh, change this overflow hidden from uh, the layout and go to additional options and go to overflow and switch it to hidden i'm just leaving it like this because i played with it earlier and i just want to explain to you it's easier this way all right so this can be done the same way so for each image you can set this to be position absolute and of course change the width the height and yada 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 all right and then you can simply delete this I will publish this and let's see what happens. So, one, two, and our third image. And that's it. Yes, there is this uh, very strange jump. It seems like in the last two, one, two videos, this is happening a lot. So, I don't know anyway i don't think it's the worst but it's not the best either anyway so as you can see the scroll ended here but we need some space uh, to scroll further optional obviously you don't have to have anything at the end but i'm just going to add something for fun <laughs> now i'm gonna duplicate this last this first um, container and i'm just going to drag it in here and uh, let's publish and I have two more things to tell you. All right, so that's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning, and now it just scrolls further. So this is the container that we have here that's empty. I wanted to say, as you remember last, when I explained a little bit the code, I said that the, the animation starts here, yeah? So it starts at the top and 
this is the space the 20 percent uh space that we have at the top where the images stop basically they pin 20 percent to the top you can change this to zero to five to whatever you want you can even set it to center if you want i just wanted it to be not at the top because it doesn't look that good so yeah now the second thing the text if you have the text for example let's go to text editor go to advanced and as you can see i have this set in pixels if you set it to percentage something weird is going to happen there's so many things that <laughs> happen with the with g7 elementor that i cannot explain it's beyond me so let's scroll okay this is very interesting uh in my first test the text was simply expanding further on scroll which is seems like it's not happening now but keep that in mind if this happens if this is set to oh right let's go back to let's say 80 percent okay let's publish all right it's 80 percent yeah as you can see there is a little bit of a jump which is very strange and it's not the whole text that is jumping mm, i can't explain that anyway if you don't want to have this uh i will call it layout shift which is not very pleasant i would say set this in pixels i know it's not super flexible but it's better than having something that is not um very good and anyway this is uh basically intended only for desktop so it's okay it doesn't have to be dynamic all right so i am simply going to switch back to pixels um let me just copy and paste the style all right um another thing that i wanted to mention if you are using the locomotive scroll there's something that you need to do so uh, of course you will uh, go to the site settings because you need to go to uh, custom css and this is where you will simply remove this overflow hidden so let's see if i turn this on i save it let's see what happens maybe this time is going to work properly who knows all right so i'm scrolling i'm scrolling i'm scrolling hmm okay anyway it seems like it's working this time <laughs> anyway this is another thing that i cannot explain so in this case it's working in my previous test it didn't there was like i couldn't get to the last container that is weird anyway so that's fine disregard that but if something is not working properly keep in mind that might be the locomotive scroll so you can deactivate the overflow hidden in that case yeah i think that's it guys so let's have another look also let me go back to remove some text for example in hmm let's do that with this one it's not gonna look pretty but if you don't have all the containers be um, or all the text editors have text equal text um or the same amount of text then it's not going to be a problem as you can see you can also set the height of all these containers that are holding our text and uh, heading to be 100 vh or 50 vh depending on your use case so i've done that let's go back to see what happens now so we have this and this one has a little bit of space but as you can see since we have the space the second image starts only when our the third image starts when the, our third text rolls in i think it's pretty cool let me know what you think and if you have an idea how to fix this little situation that is happening here 
If you'd like to see what else we can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.